Okay, fixing my hair while waiting. So let me see if I got on live. Welcome everyone. This is Nadia Touch. Sometimes I just don't feel fully ready. So here's the mic. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about is your life in transitioning? Welcome, welcome. Let me know where you're logging in from and what time of the day are you live are you in recording and i'm double checking if i am online yes i am amazing and i'm going to share inside of our group friends and health for daily motivation and inspiration so please join us is your life in transitioning my name is Nadia Tash, who is coaching by Nadia and i help busy professionals who do not have time and they're experiencing pain, whether it's physical, emotional, we find the way what works for the body to bring the self-care back in the daily busy life without compromising the busy life. And we do it through a transformation of mindset, nutrition, and fitness, one habit at a time. And let's go ahead and jump into the conversation, is your life in transitioning? And I'm going to pull my notes so I stay on track. And I decided to go with this topic. In fact, I just had my email sent out to everyone who is keeping up with the updates and tips and information. And this was the subject of my email. So if you're not yet in the email, go ahead and subscribe through coachingbynadia.com forward slash newsletter, or you can follow the link in the subscription. It will be the link to our upcoming webinar on best tips to improve time management and double opt in and you will be receiving emails from me. So this email from, in fact, just yesterday was my reflection, I think of a year. And usually on Sundays, I do like sending something that, um, in fact, I wake up in the morning and this is one of the first, first things I'd like to do. In fact, I started those uh, emails based on how I do my life. I just wake up, I have my cup of tea, coffee, whatever is there, and I just journal. And one day, not that long time ago, I decided I want to share this with my group. And I believe I even mentioned in that email, this is personal for my journal. So this uh, reflection actually yesterday, I wrote it in my journal and in my journal was a note for, for my list. So I already knew that I will be sharing this with you. And in fact, my life is still in transition. But in the last year, so let me kind of give you an overview where I am standing from. So the really transition can be different ways. Mine was pretty much in my life and my business transition. Whether it's your business transition when you started a new business or you're starting it. Maybe it's in a life transition where maybe you have to find a new way of income. Maybe it's personal relationships. Also, it can be health transition. Maybe you decided I finally going to lose weight and keep it off like sustainable way. Maybe it's something else. So it's really a transition can be different transition for all of us. For me, it was reestablishing. Well, I moved to a new, new home, reestablishing my personal relationships and actually already going into uh, my new way of doing business with coaching by Nadia. So I, I started the company, even though I've been in wellness for 12 years, but started my company in May 2020. So last year, in fact, exactly yesterday was, um, I call it one year of my transition. In fact, in my journaling, I named my first entry as was an entry of chapter three. So if you want to know about chapter one and two, you can ask me in person, but um, this is a new chapter indeed. And just looking back at this last year, which I know you can relate and let me know in the comments, it's been a challenging year. 
sure it's a year before, maybe a half of a year before. For some of us, we all have different challenges, but mine were really establishing my independent life as an individual, as a business owner, as a mom. That's a lot. <laughs> so whatever transition is, whether you just say, hey, this can be a transition. You look at your goals, you look at your schedule, and you say, this piece of my life or my business or my health is transition. And it's a lot to handle. It feels like, how do I prioritize? That's the question I normally get. How do you do this all? And it occurs from the surface, you know, from the outside, when you look at my social media profiles, you read my messages, and maybe you talk to me. Well, unless until you talk to me individually, you may realize, well, it's not all flowers. <laughs> but from the surface, uh, it seems like uh, everything is figured out and perfect, not really. It is an ongoing work, ongoing adjustment, honestly, and it's ongoing journey and ongoing, I don't know, failing forward. What's the name for that? Honoring the struggle, as Brendan Burchard says, it's ongoing journey. It's like a roller coaster. Sometimes you just don't know where it's going up and down, but you know it's going the right direction. <laughs> So how do we handle it all in the transition in the way actually that is healthy? So if nothing else in this message, my message to all of us is let's handle transition in a healthy way. Because I think that's where we actually miss the point. We focus on this one thing. For example, I'm selling the house and moving to a new house. Let me do the rest later. Uh, your body needs to eat, your body needs to move, your body is already having all these thoughts. Why do we need to wait until I move through this transition? The body needs treatment right away. The body is helping us to do what we need to be doing right now. So let's take care of this vehicle right now and not wait until that vehicle runs out of gas. That just doesn't make sense. It makes sense from a perspective of this is my goal, this is my priority, but let's take care of the vehicle so the vehicle can help you take care of priority in a healthy way. Let's invest in our vehicle or the body, the health, so we don't have to spend this money at the doctor's appointment when it's yeah, can be preventable. What can I say? I don't want to say too late, but that's the word that comes to my head. So there are four major points, which again, I refer them in my email. And if you're not there, use the description of this live to um, get into my email through a registration to a time management workshop. <laughs> or uh, you can just uh, go to my website. So four points. The number one, I know it can be almost like cold, but I believe this is the top priority. Let's treat our transition as a business. What do I mean by that? Let's have a goal. Sometimes it's hard to say, especially when it's really uh, challenging, deep, heavy transition. You might say, I can't see anything beyond that. Great. What can we see? Like I knew, okay, I can see my new home. I can see certain elements of my new life. Great. So that's at least some kind of goal with seeking the clarity. And the seeking the clarity, we're going to be doing it during our transitional time. It's almost like some people say, jump and build the wings along the way. Uh, so before you jump, let's have an idea how to build the wings, okay? <laughs> that is all I'm asking. And with that, when I'm treating this as a business, I have a goal, I have some action steps. So let's do this, let's act on those action steps and having the discipline or using the five second rule to just do the actions. And I'm jumping into the point number two, self-care, blocking the time for self-care because in transition, emotions are very loud. 
And we actually want to, again, manage transition as a business, but still allow our emotions to release. That is a very disciplined point. Block your self-care. And I'm going to say when the life is tough and hard and dark, turn on your self-care light bulb brighter. It has to shine brighter in the, the darker it gets. Physics? <laughs> and that's the discipline we have to build for ourselves. What does it mean? Set the time, whether it's every evening, whether it's five minutes on top of the hour, whether it's like I do it even now, three times I have to sit down a day and meditate, whether it's 20 minute meditation, five minutes meditation, to release, relax and restore ongoingly. It cannot wait until transition is over. It is not healthy. We have to block our self-care ongoingly, like maintaining your vehicle, okay? All right, so it's a physical release, it's emotional, everything needs to be ongoingly, just like we are doing our actions for transition. Number three, with that said, very obvious, blocking the time. So blocking the time allows us to go through the process with structure, whether I feel it like it or not. Yeah, <laughs> I do it anyway. I do my actions anyway, I do my self-care anyway. The body will thank me for going through the process, for going through tough things, for going through a walk in the evening, follow the process of your time blocking and do what you know needs to be done. That's why setting the goal and setting those action steps are so crucially important. In fact, we must do it before the transition starts or right at the beginning. If it's too late for you, you're already in the transition, do it now. And switch into the last point, seeking for ongoing support. It is so crucial. In fact, I had three coaches at the time of my, the beginning of my transition to keep myself forward, keep my head, I don't know, cold. <laughs> when it needs to be called because it helps me set a goal, set my actions for the week, for the day, whether it's best friend who knows your best and pulls you forward, not the one who sits with you and wine. That is good actually for the time that you blocked to do that. <laughs> but it's ongoing support of people who actually see kind of observing where you are and will help you with the, um, what am I looking for? Non-emotional, if I may say, ideas, non-emotional, helping you moving forward. It's like when you're on the roller coaster, they, the people who are watching your safety, they are, those are the ongoing support that you're seeking, seeking for during your transition. All right, so this, to summarize, if you're in transition, whether it's health, life, business, you name your own. Number one is treating it like a business. Have your goal or at least an idea. Set your structure, set your process, set your emotions aside when you follow through a particular process and time block everything including a very necessary self-care it is as important as your transitional process it is more important the darker it gets the brighter your self-care needs to be so time blocking, crucial, and seeking for an ongoing support from individuals who will pull you up and forward. Now down and back. <laughs> All right, folks. So if you like to have a deeper conversation, maybe discover slightly more, I invite you to a discovery session. It is a complimentary session. You can find it through coachingbynadia.com forward slash or on the link, talk to me or it will be forward slash 15 minutes, uh, no breaks.
And also please register for our time webinar. It will be best tips to improve your time management. In fact, that's how this email content showed up for me last night. It's really everything about managing myself in the time I got or all of us have. So the time management will be a workshop on managing yourself. And that is why it's a workshop. You're going to work on your own calendar. How do I block everything that we talked about? How do I prioritize? How I stick with what's important for that particular day? So I'm in the right process up and forward of the roller coaster, right? So we can even enjoy our transition or bring the arms up and scream. What is it? My hands are in the air, like I don't care <laughs> because we know the roller coaster will take us to the right destination. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before you go, please let me know how it resonated with you. Again, feel free to schedule your discovery call through coachingbynadia.com. Register for our time management webinar. It's in the description. And uh, join our Friends and Health Facebook group. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in the community.